praise be the second analog stick. It is the greatest invention in all of gaming technology and the greatest progression in the Monster Hunter franchise. Monster Hunter World is here, it's on consoles, and it has a second analog stick. Finally, the game can be controlled like something humans are meant to be played. Oh, wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, the 3DS has a little control knob that could act as a second analog stick? Okay, you know what? Do, do you remember, or are you even old enough to be aware of the fact that laptops used to have little nubs in the keyboards in order to control the mouse instead of a trackpad? No? You weren't? Well then, I should tell you everything you need to know about having a control nub as any sort of control scheme in your fucking thing. Take your little nub and shit all over my cock with it, Nintendo, because that thing is not an analog stick. Look at it. Look at the- look at that space. Look, look, look. Look what could fit there. A second analog stick. For fuck's sake, Nintendo, just... Oh, I hate the 3DS so fucking much! Okay, alright, no, calm, calm, we are calm, we are happy, because Monster Hunter is finally on a console again, and fucking take that Wii U out of my fucking face. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, underwater hunting was a and impossible to do. Third of all, I'm not going to spend $400 to buy a Monster Hunter machine. Fifth of all, my fire alarm has been taken. Two battery charges. Would you stop fucking chirping, you piece of shit? Okay. Anyways, Monster Hunter World is back on consoles where it belongs, and it has been fucking phenomenal. I have lived, breathed, and honestly, I haven't slept at all, so I can't put that on as something I've done for this game. But hey, it's a good fucking video game, and if you've ever wanted to get into Monster Hunter, or you've been a fan of slow, methodical combat like that in the Soulsborne series, then Monster Hunter World's the game for you. Okay, alright, let's just, let's talk about Monster Hunter, and I, I am, ah, uh, one of my best childhood memories is playing this game on a friend's PlayStation 2, then proceeded to go to a local electronic rental shop, renting a PS2 and Monster Hunter, and making that my life for a month, I swear. That was, like, the best, one of the best childhood memories I have. I fucking love that game. And then, when I, for some reason, bought into Sony's whole It's For Real Gamers propaganda for the PSP and purchased one, guess what came out on it? And I bought it. And let me tell you, as much as I tried, as much as I wanted to love it, and while I did give it f about five hours of my life, I never felt that click like I did with the PS2. And there are a variety of reasons for that. But most of all, it was the f f fucking control scheme. Let me, let me just, let me just point something out for you. I just, I want you, grab, grab your New Year's game controller. I want you to put your thumb on the analog stick, as is what you're supposed to do. I want you to take your trigger finger, your pointer finger, the finger you use to point, and I want you to stick that on the D-pad. And then, I want you to take your middle finger and put that on the bumper. That don't feel too good, do it? Does it? No? Okay, now, I want you to try and do that for the entirety of a hunt. Anywhere between half an hour to an entire fucking hour. That was how you used to control the fucking game. They, uh, switching it over to the PSP, you suddenly had two less buttons and you were down an analog stick. So you had to control the camera with the D-pad and is anyone who has ever tried to control any game that allows you to control the camera with the D-pad 
It doesn't fucking work. It doesn't feel good. It feels clunky. It feels unresponsive. And as a user of the heavy bow gun, which was my original main weapon, I am shit at shooters as it is with an analog stick. You trying to use the D-pad to control that shit? No, fuck straight off. It was just, it was a nightmare. I tried desperately to play these games, but despite my absolute love for the first Monster Hunter, I was never able to get into the portable ones. And then they switched it over to the 3DS, and I felt like just, oh. See, I bought a 3DS because I saw that the PSP, you know, Sony wasn't supporting it at all, so I decided, you know what, let's jump shit to the 3DS. The DS basically had all of the video games, all of them, they just didn't stop coming out, and there were a lot of good ones, a lot of shit as well, but there was a lot of good video games. And when I heard Monster Hunter on there, I thought, you know what, let's try it out. And if anything else, it got fucking worse. I mean, take a look at the D 3DS. Do you see what this is? This is a right fucking angle. Do you know what's comfortable to hold? Not fucking that. Jesus. Just, no, why? Why? Why, Nintendo? Right angles, why? That don't feel too good. It's bad enough that I have these giant gorilla hands, the sort of hands that the original Xbox, you know, I hope your fucking furniture can stand up to this shit Duke controller, feels good in my hands. That sentence makes no sense, but you get the general gist of it. Also, by the way, I'm actually looking forward to that Duke controller re-release. I'm going to purchase it. I'm going to be one of the people who purchases it either day one or very near to that. Just, yeah, I actually really like the controller, but that's besides the point. The point being is that it's infuriating on a level that I can't describe when it was transferred over to the 3DS because the PS Vita came out and it's like, oh, look, these are kind of sort of console level high definition graphics. Wouldn't Monster Hunter look good on this? Look, it has two analog sticks and it has, you know, the back touch screen so looks could act as like triggers or bumpers. Wouldn't this play good with a Monster Hunter game? Well, go fuck yourself, Capcom said. We're siding with Nintendo. And thus, once again, you had to fucking do the fucking claw, except this time you had a right angle that you had to wrap your finger around and it felt like fucking shit for an hour or so oh god oh no oh the 3ds makes me so fucking angry especially the fucking graphics oh look everything's in 3d now we could have you know taken the skim it out and given you high definition maybe but no we're gonna make this fucking shitty 3D screen and the fucking resolution that makes it seem like everything's fucking blocked out by Vaseline. F ah! Uh. Can you tell I don't like the 3DS yet? But yes, Monster Hunter World has finally come out and it's great. It's fantastic. It's phenomenal. Look at this. Look at the fucking... Look at the footage in the background. It looks... Fucking phenomenal. The graphics are fantastic. The fucking game plays like a dream. I can finally main heavy bow gun without... With a fucking control scheme made for human beings. It's just... It's... Monster Hunter World is the best Monster Hunter experience ever. It's fucking phenomenal, and if you own a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox, buy the game immediately, and if you game on the PC, well, that's coming later, and you can buy it then. Hopefully, it's a good port. I, I don't fucking give a shit. I have it on my PS4 Pro, and while usually I'll go for the PC release, it's later, and I think this game benefits from a console, even though shooters usually benefit from a mouse more. Anyways, that's been... Just, oh, Monster Hunter World is a fucking phenomenal, phenomenal game. Just... Uh, yeah. 
buy this game if you have any interest in the series or you're an old fan or you're a new fan or just just buy Monster Hunter World. Also, by the way, Blood Blockade Battlefront is a okay anime. It's pretty good if you don't have anything else to do. Go watch that. Also, Season 2 is arguably better, but it feels more like a spin-off series than, you know, a part of the actual anime. I'm saying that because this video was supposed to be about Blood Blockade Battlefront, like I had actually recorded the script and everything. But, well, I wasn't feeling too good. I, it was just a boring talking about something that I just felt, you know, it was just good. A good anime, it wasn't a great anime, it wasn't something I was, like, gushing about. And also Monster Hunter World came out and that devoured my entire life and I forgot to edit a video and really, I just really want to talk about Monster Hunter World and just yell to everyone that it's a good fucking video game that you should buy. Alright, I'll put some links in the description to Amazon so you can purchase that shit. Anyways, if you liked this video, like it. If you disliked it, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and I shall see you all later. Also, I have links to my social media and to my Patreon. Please give me money please i mean fucking the local mcdonald's has reopened so all of the business at my fast food job has gone to the shit and thus we have no hours and i want to afford rent <laughs> so yeah if you like my content feel free to support me on patreon or just buy me something off my amazon wish list bribe me with material goods that works too anyways my name has been juan john john this has been uh my opinion on monster hunter world I shall see you all later. Goodbye.